the chase and the hunt And I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity To find your identity, it's mind over everything Or drop down to an F 
all dependent on how they handled this whole Doug Dead Slow plot point. Now, for those of you that watched my Kamen Rider Geek review, I'm having a similar moment to back when I thought that Neon was a biz ass song. But prior to it, they made a state that it was Lobo, and I gave that episode a very low score. But due to the following episode fixing things, it made the previous episode actually much better. We chat twice to talk to people about their thoughts regarding this episode. I saw some people's first impressions when they watched the wall the previous night. I even watched Ash, the Oxy360's review, just to gauge his thoughts. Though, on his side of things, he believes that this entire Doug Dead plot point seems to be the genuine article. But I still hope that it's a complete fabrication. Though, if this is indeed all an act, then it also points more and more to Raculous just playing 4D chess with everyone. And we start debating on the whole Raculous redemption potential of it all. Which one? I I've seen the Luke pictures for next week's episode. And... So seriously, what do you all of this before we get into it on Friday's Tokutonic shift? But outside of that, what did you also think? about the mini crossover in general, as well as the pacing of it all. Anyway, that's it for me. Until next time, bye.